This is Roger with Wheel Kinetics in Tucson, Arizona. We're selling this truck. It is a 2012 Ford F-250 Crew Cab Long Bed Lariat. It's a 6.7 Power Stroke Diesel. It's four-wheel four drive and it's got the FX4 off-road suspension package. This truck has 150,803 miles. Uh, it was a new car dealer trade-in in Phoenix. And we purchased it because it's a really nice truck. Um, bring it here, we do an inspection. Nothing happened here, um, which is good. My guys write this, very nice truck, well maintained by previous owner. Um, runs and drives as good as it looks. We didn't even take it to detail. We just uh, took it to the car wash. And that's that. It's a good looking truck. Um, I'll show you the Carfax. I'll show you the Kelly Blue Book in just a second. We'll go under the hood with it running. Um, we will uh, point at anything I see that's wrong cosmetically. My brother's already taken probably between 60 and 80 HD pictures of this truck. Um, in that photo gallery, you see a little magnifying glass icon. You can drag over any photo and zoom in on the, any spot in a photo so you'll be able to see it. It's got, obviously, it's got a really nice set of Michelins on it. Um, Carfax has, I think, 22 service records uh, in it. Uh, whoever owned it took really good care of it. It's a nice truck. Looking for door dings or anything. I don't see anything on that side. Oh, here we go. There's the blemish. Got a little scratch right here. Yeah, the wheels are in good shape. It's a pretty truck. Holy cow. Got this hard tonneau cover. I believe it Velcro's on. Yeah, so you can just lift it off if you want. Boy. He knew how to back up too. It's all smashed in like almost every diesel truck is. Backup camera. Bum. The point of my videos is uh, not to sell. Oh, there you go. A little chip there. Is not to sell the truck. It's really to make sure the right person buys it. And the only way to do that is to make sure that everything I see. Look, there's a little ding right there. I saw something else too. Right there. That looks like. Yeah, that might be a chip. I don't feel anything there. That might be a stain or something that might come out. But the purpose is make, to make sure there's no drama. 600 to 800 uh, people, maybe up to 1,000 a day will see this vehicle. There's no sense in uh, BSing you when there's definitely going to be somebody out there who's fine with any problems that we announce. What's bad is not announcing a problem that we know about and then it's shipping to Michigan or Canada or Washington State or Samoa or someplace like that. And uh, then something that was obvious was missed and uh, then we get yelled at. 150,931 miles. The old one-handed hood opening thing here. There it is. Alrighty then. There you got the Ford stamp over here. So you know the Fender's original. Ba -ba 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 -ba. What else we got going on here? Ford stamp there. go nice quiet badass six seven i have really come to like that motor it's expensive i avoided going there for a while because they're so expensive but there's a reason they're good door locks let's see seat back forward and back seat forward and back and down up 
that's all the way up and that's all the way down okay let's see what else feels kind of small is there really a manual in there yes there is okay there's a manual in there there's a wheel lock key and a manual some trailer stuff Pretty clean for just a car wash, huh? It's kind of better to see them like this, not all dolled up. That way you can see what they were like for in the real world. Like, not looking their best. This is pretty good for not being a being detailed. This is actually as close to to good and perfect as you can get without a detail. Okay, information, Kelly Blue Book, 2012, eight foot long bed, Lariat with 150,803. Typical listing price would be 26,953 with a range of 26,3 to 29,1. Okay, here's the Carfax. History events affecting vehicle's value. The history says that this vehicle is worth 28,970 according to Carfax. They blend the Carfax, good news, and the Kelly, and that's what they come up with, 28,970 retail value. There's the VIN, no accidents, 22 service records, 523.19 is what I did the Carfax, okay? La, 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 la. all the services yeah. definitely took care of this truck let's see Is there one more page here yep two more pages at 136 Fuel filter, front shocks were replaced. That was at Sanderson Ford at 136. Let's see. They did an AC charge at Sanderson Ford at 139. And I can tell it works because it's nice and cool in here. All right, let's see. We're actually getting really lucky. It hasn't even come close to 100 degrees yet. The minute I say that, watch it. It'll be like blazing on Memorial Day. God, backseat looks like nobody sat in it. Which isn't surprising. Usually, uh, older people have these trucks and they, they're expensive. And they're towing with them and they don't really have a lot of people with them. There's the van, blah, blah, blah. Telescoping in, so that works on both sides. Mirror out, in, down, up, other side, out, in, up, and down. Let's see, door locks, perfect. Let's see, forward, Let's see, back, Let's see, up. Seat down, seat back forward, back. We have pedals up and down. We got, there's your adjustable tilt wheel. All right, let me hop in this guy. Seatbelt on. Radio, steering controls. All right, so that 
works fine. MP3, CD player, la la la. The air is blowing ice cold, which I can assure you feels really good right about now. Let me turn that down. Change the temperature, both sides. All that stuff works fine. What else? Let's see. Go through the gauges. Information, settings, go gauge mode, compass. All right, let's see, let's go down, trip, fuel economy, truck apps. Boom, trailer disconnected, doesn't have a trailer on it right now. Settings, what's that? Information, uh, I like that one best. Truck apps, there you go. All right, let's see, tow haul, that's on right down there and off we put it in neutral we're gonna to go to four low shift in progress advanced track off which is what happens in four low all right now we're four low we drive that's four low and drive four low and reverse that's the park aids because I got a building right behind me neutral and four high Shift in progress, advanced track goes back on and for high. Drive. This is a nice truck. In reverse. I know, I'm not going back any further. All right, and back to two wheel drive. Shift in progress. Let's go for ride. All right, beautiful truck. Oh, you know what? One more thing. This is the rear slider. Moving fast, which is good. Um, all right, if you come to Tucson Drive at Home, this is how it'll work. You will pay tax and dock fee. Taxes are your state tax rate, whatever it is. It could be zero, it could be 10. Whatever your state tax rate is, plus our city of 2.7% and a $250 dock fee. That's what you'll pay if you come to Tucson and Drive at Home. If you pay by wire and ship out of state, all you're gonna pay is the agreed upon price. There's no tax, there's no dock fee, there's nothing um, extra, just the price. Uh, if you do pay by wire and ship, once you pay in full by wire, we will fill out the title with your name or your company's name and address. We will scan, uh, we'll sign it off to you, then we'll scan that into your online file so you'll be able to see it immediately uh, and we'll mail it to you. We even scan in the envelope we mail it in, okay? God, this thing runs good too. I love these things. It's like it has 10 miles on it. It's amazing. These motors are all that. Um, Anyway, you'll have the truck shipped to you. You already have the title from the mail. The title will definitely be there almost every time before the truck shows up. Once the truck shows up by your shipper, um, you will just take the title in the truck and go get plates. It's very simple. Um, deposit. Once we have an agreed upon price, please get your deposit in. Once we have your deposit, we have a deal. Until then, it will stay for sale. Deposit's $500. Once we have that deposit, we'll put your name in a banner over the truck at wheelconnects.com. Um, and everyone will know it's yours, including you. Um, what else? Um, ba, 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 ba. The last vi part of every video, and I'd like you to look at every video, the last couple minutes at least, that we have online. I've done thousands of them. I say the same thing, not singling this truck out. It's a great truck. But, <clears throat> this is the, the speech. We don't have salesmen, which is awesome, because we don't have to pay those bums. Um, we don't have bottled water with our name on it. We don't have scones for you and a lounge and a massage chair and lattes and whatever. Um, because we don't have that, you're not paying for that. That's not in the price. You're also not paying for future repairs. Uh, we're not puffing up the, the vehicle's price so that we can write you checks when something breaks. Um, both of those factors add up to us not fixing your truck the day you buy it. When something breaks, you are the owner, you will fix your truck, okay? That is the give and take. All this information, Kelly, Carfax, what we know about the truck, this video, the photo gallery, everything adds up to you having tons more information you'd have in a brick and mortar so you can make a good decision and so that you'll be the owner. It also means that we can make we can charge you less for the vehicle so that the money you're saving will be able to go into a, into a repair at some point. Um, everything breaks at some point. This will break at some point. Every vehicle we're passing will break at some point and they need to be fixed. Because you're making a good buy, you should be happy um, and know that you saved a bunch of money and when something breaks you will fix it happily instead of being pissed off, right? Um, if that doesn't work for you, we got nothing for you. There's not a single car in our inventory for you because um, uh, that's not going to happen, alright? Uh, this truck drives beautifully. Obviously it was well maintained. It's just a nice truck. 
holy cow really nice truck so anyway if uh la 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 oh there's a guy in my spot there all right let me get in here all right anyway please uh go through the video go through the photos um let me see if i can get somebody to open the the gate for me because i forgot my remote and there it goes uh buh, buh, buh. anyway i love this truck holy cow i get this thing i put a big trailer on it and tow it straight to alaska right now this is a nice rig i mean there's not much difference between brand new and this truck 150,000 miles they are building a hell of a vehicle here um anyway i think that's about it thank you for your time